Joan Brandon, and I'm back for another video in this series for my February artist residency at the library. Um, I was sitting here thinking about how much I love Shaker Rays and the beautiful sounds that they make and, and just that kind of energy they bring in my life. So this is a Shaker Ray. And this one is made with a gourd and it's made with beads. And, but the thing I really like is that shaking sound. Most people at home don't have a gourd and may or may not have beads. So I, uh, today I wanted to spend a little time thinking about or showing you a way to maybe make a shaker, make something that you can shake and make that kind of sound with things that you can find at your house or that you could easily find at a store like, a craft store like Michael's. So um, this, this is a tea can. It's empty, it had tea bags in it. I have lots of these around the house because I really love, love to drink tea. And um, to make a, I picked out some things that I have at home. These are some beans, brown beans, and these are lentils. And I picked them because they are two different sizes. When you think about how you want to make your shaker, the different size of the, the beans actually makes a difference. So listen to this. Here's one bean in this can, and this is what it sounds like. So that's one bean. And this is one lentil. Listen to the difference. <laughs> I hope you can hear the difference. It's really different. So when you think about um, making an instrument, you want to think about what kind of sound you want from it. Do you want a bigger sound? Do you want a smaller sound? So I'm going to just take this whole handful of these beans, put it in this can, and now listen. And really, you don't have to use like all the family beans in the house. This is maybe 10 or 12 beans, and it's a great sound. If you want to make a bigger sound, here's some more beans and some more beans, and listen to this. All right, so there's one shaker, and right now looking at it, it just looks like you have a can and it makes some noise. So maybe we want to decorate the outside a little bit. I think that would be cool. Um, so there's some easy, quick ways to do this. One way is these paint markers that, um, I think they even, I've used them on even metal. So this is a paint marker. Um, another really cool way with these cans is to use cloth. So just kind of wrap it around like that, see how much you need. <laughs> that was my quick, easy way of measuring. <laughs> but I think I got it. We'll do it like this so you can see what I'm doing. So I just did it to cover the whole thing, wrap like that. And um, my goal is to just keep this simple and fast because I wanna get to playing the instrument. So I'm gonna cut it right here. All the way over to here. Wait, lost my measurement. Yeah, just like that. And we'll cut that. Okay, so we have this fabric and I cut it and we're going to wrap it around this tea can. Quick and simple. And to hold it together, we've got some glue and I'm gonna just Get a big glob of glue, <laughs> glob of glue, <laughs> and put it on the fabric like this. Oops, maybe too much, but that's okay. Okay, we'll do that, and then fold the fabric over. And the can is covered in this really pretty red fabric. And 
This just happens to be red fabric that I have, but use anything that you have at home. I'm going to cut this bottom part so it's not hanging down. I mean, you can cut a t-shirt, just anything you're not using. Keep it simple because you want to get to the fun of playing the instrument. Um, if I wanted to do some other things with it, I have some beads here. So I've got my red fabric. If I wanted to, I could just put a bunch of glue. I'll show you, I'll do one section. We won't, we don't need to do the whole thing, but. This glue works with everything. So just put some glue, dot, 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 dot. And put a bead. These are pony beads, like just the beads you get at um, Michael or Walmart. People put them in their hair, make all kind of crafts out of them. Uh-oh. Yikes. <laughs> the beads are sliding. So, anyway, if you wanted to, you could really cover this whole can. That would be pretty. And then, even if you wanted to, you could, instead of using beads, I mean beans, you could put beads in there also. Make a different shaker sound. Okay. This is a really fun project, very similar, but a fast, easy way to make a shaker. I get these at Michael's, and um, they're boxes. They're not intended for this whatsoever, but again, I can put things inside them and easily make an instrument. So here's some beans. And you do that, close it up. It closes pretty tightly. Um, this one I recommend once you decide how many beads you want or beans, beans, I put beads and beans inside this. That's why I keep saying that. But you, I would glue it together so you have a more permanent instrument. Uh, one of the ways I like to decorate these because they have this is I found this strip of <laughs> strip of the cosmos somewhere and I've just had it sitting around forever and I was like hey I know what to do this will fit right in here almost I'm gonna cut it a little bit and um, it's already got a sticky side so it should just stick right down just something to add some color make it fun um, I think the main thing for me when I'm doing this is to show my personality or whoever's making it should show their personality. So if you're someone who likes space and stuff like that, then this will be really cool for you. When I'm at home working on projects, I'm very, very slow and I'm listening to meditative music often and sometimes drumming music. So uh, doing this, even cutting at a fast pace for me, is a little bit different because I like to just be in the moment of whatever I'm making um, and just not rushing it. So sometimes something that would, might take somebody else five minutes <laughs> takes me an hour, but that's okay. I like to be deliberate about it. I, when I choose colors for something I'm doing, I want to, I pick colors that, um, I understand the meaning of. Just gonna put that on there like that and it ought to stick. Should be the easiest thing ever. And if it doesn't stick, we have a tacky glue plan B. <laughs> tacky glue for president. There we go. We're just gonna do that. So we have this around the edges in the middle and to, the, the, to do the top and the bottom, I'm going to use paint, but you can use markers or crayons, anything that you have at home. You don't need to have paint to do this. We'll just add some blue to the top. And 
and just have fun with it. Whatever you create will be amazing. I'm gonna just do a solid blue, um, but you could do all kinds of painting and colors, but I'm gonna do a solid blue. Because for me, it feels right. And, you know, again, just do whatever feels fun. Because the goal is to create something that you're going to be able to make music with. So if it's fun for you to sit and paint for a really long time and do really fancy things, then do that. If it's fun for you to paint just one broad kind of layer like this and do that. I'm going to try to do something <clears throat> without it being dry. I probably shouldn't, but um, I had found a bunch of these letters somewhere. They sit around my house, and I just picked them up at, I think, some store on, like, the clearance rack. But they add a lot to these shakers. I have a bunch where I've put... My initials, I've worked with young people who spell out their names if their names are short. So for this one, I picked out a B for my last name, Brandon. And I'm going to just use some more of this glue. Oh, it's for the Big Bang. It's for the Big Bang, the drum. Mm -hmm. There's a drummer, um, I, what's his name, Mickey something. He drummed for the Grateful Dead, and that's what he writes about, actually, that the Big Bang is actually <laughs> the drum. But anyway, so here's my shaker with my B for Brandon, and I got some color on the side, and I could also, you know, paint the bottom and do lots of other things to the top if I wanted to put some things around the edge, but mostly I want to shake it. So that's fun. Um, let's do one more thing. Okay, so for the Zoom session on Friday, uh, we're going to be just kind of playing around. It's a family time. We're going to um, use our shakers that we just learned how to make. And also, I'm going to show you how you could make a drum from home. And um, this is a coffee can. It used to have coffee. Now it's empty, I think. It's empty. Uh, and it'll sound kind of like this. Or you could use a stick. Hey, if you have a stick around, you can just go outside and pick up a stick. So we're going to do that on Zoom. And um, uh, the really cool thing is you can, you can always have your instrument just the way you want it. If you want it like this, you can leave it like this. But I like to make my drums just have a little more feel of the culture of drumming. So for this one, I wanted to um, add some fabric. I like using fabric. You could paint it. You Just use whatever you have in your house. That's the main thing. Um, so I cut a piece of fabric, and I'm going to put it around the edge just like this. And for me, it just reminds me a little bit more that it's a drum and not a coffee can. I'm going to glue it down, keeping it simple. And just like that, just glue the fabric. Um, yeah, pretty. So if I were to make a real authentic drum, I would have like a skin, an animal hide, and it would be like this, and you would shave the hair or use this side. But obviously, I don't think you will have an animal hide <laughs> sitting around your house. So we're going to put the top of the can back on there. And that's the same purpose as what that would be on the top of the drum. And I wanted to add a little bit more to it. I'm fine with this being like this because it's kind of like, you, like I said, replacing that top of the drum. I wanted to add um, just some more color, some more energy, some more, uh, some more, it's just it feels like the culture of the drum. So I had these beads that are wooden and I put them on this string and I just did like this. 
just added some beads and um, eventually I will take it all the way around but just for today I'll add a few more and show you my plan let's cut that Okay, so my plan is to string these around the top like that. I'm going to do it um, I'm going to just lay the can like this so I can reach it. There we go. Another reason I like to leave these um, the lid for the can um, is that if you take that lid off you can put things in there and make it shake it can be a big shaker it can be a shaker and a drum all together so once I get all my beads on here this would be a lot easier but put the beads here and they'll go all the way around Oh, I know. I'll do it like this. I think that'll be better. Okay. All right. So there's some beads. That's one thing to add. And then also I have with me some cowrie shells. These are shells that um, at, at different times in different places in Africa were used as currency, actual money. So I'm going to put, I'm going to add some of this on here too. And this glue dries up clear, so it's okay to be a little wild with it. Okay, so we're getting on to something. Um, and just whatever you have around the house. I also had these ribbons. I thought I would, if you know, if I wanted to, I could add some ribbons to it. They could just kind of hang down. Let's just do that. So I would add a bunch more ribbons. Um, yeah, that looks like fun and celebration time and All right. I hope to see you at the Zoom workshop on Friday. <laughs>